Hey guys, how's it going? This is the bald metal nerd coming at you with another lovely vid. And I'm sure you've read the title, so in this one you know I'm going to be talking about Nine Inch Nails Bad Witch. Um, spoiler alert, Too Long Didn't Watch. I did not like uh, Bad Witch nearly as much as I like the other two releases in the trilogy. Uh, not the actual events or ad violence. I like those much, much, much better. So, there you go. For everyone else who still wants to watch, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to dive in, just break it down song by song. Uh, I am not going to analyze this as part of the trilogy. I am simply going to analyze it by itself because it was released by itself. I know it's supposed to fit into the trilogy, but we're going to kind of discount that for this review. So anyway, let's just get into it. Uh, track one is called Shit Mirror. Uh, <laughs> It's a heavily distorted number that's fairly interesting, but it would have worked better as a midpoint, like on a full-length album. Uh, or maybe, uh, you know, I would change the song. Uh, basically, two-thirds of the song is extremely heavily distorted, uh, just electronic noise and heavily distorted vocals, which is okay, but it's not the best way to start off an uh, in an album or EP in my opinion. Now about two-thirds of the way through the song the distortion is reduced greatly and you get some standard good signature Nine Inch Nails kind of driving beat and vocals. <clears throat> Track two is Ahead of Ourselves. It's a hard driving again highly distorted song which actually makes a pretty good second track uh, but I feel two heavily distorted songs in a row are a bit monotonous, okay? Now, track three is Play the Goddamned Part. And it starts off as, you guessed it, uh, it's heavily distorted in the beginning. Now, keep in mind the song is an instrumental, uh, and there is some interesting arrangements and rhythms in the first half. Uh, and the second half of the song is Wind Instruments, uh, being played a bit off key and off rhythm and there's some good percussion uh, in the background and of course there's inserted you know noises which is pretty much par for the course for Nine Inch Nails which actually work really well in this context um, track four is God Break Down the Door uh, now this was the lead single uh, from the EP and when I first heard it, I was underwhelmed. And while it's a decent song, it's not spectacular. Uh, it has a heavy synth beat with a lot of saxophone overlaid on top of the mix. Um, track five, I'm Not From This World, the second instrumental on this sixth song uh, collection. It starts off with a simple pulsating sound, and then you get a bit of otherworldly noises. Hell, you add in piano and vocals, and this would have been a great standard Nine Inch Nails song. Now as the song progresses, you get more sinister and unsettling noises inserted. Honestly, I like this a lot more than the other instrumental on this, but at over six minutes, it stretches on too long. Uh, the final track, number six, Over and Out, starts out sounding a bit like a Depeche Mode song, uh, but then you quickly get some Nine Inch Nail elements thrown in with some distorted and un unsettling noises. Uh, then it veers into a somewhat soothing bass line with some interesting instrumentation around it. And this is when the vocals first make their appearance and Trent sings them in a melodic way. And then you get the Depeche Mode uh, kind of sound and the bass line at the same time. And then you get a rather interesting soundscape of many different types of sounds with fairly muted background vocals. Uh, and it kind of fades out and it's easily uh, my favorite song on this release. Um... So, what? how would I rate this? Before I get into my rating or score for this, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, what I liked, what I don't like. I liked some, uh, you know, some of the songs I liked a uh, fair amount, but compared to Nine Inch Nails' standard fare, I liked it less. Um... And there was way too much distortion on this release. I know you're saying to yourself, you're complaining about distortion in Nine Inch Nail songs. What's wrong with you? Well, the thing is, distortion is great uh, because 
typically Trent uses distortion uh, in his songs as like a flavoring or a garnish, right? But in this case, it's al almost all garnish and very little substance, in my opinion. It's like, you know, uh, in a lot of Nine Inch Nail songs, let's say you have an order of french fries, right? And you have just the right amount of ketchup mixed in with those french fries, and it's delicious. Whereas in this case, it's like you poured five gallons of uh, ketchup on top of a single french fry. It just doesn't really work for me. And inserting two instrumentals on something with only six songs is kind of a bit, huh? You know, um, you know. so for me, this is an extremely underwhelming Nine Inch Nails Release, and this is somebody saying that as a huge Nine Inch Nails fan. Observe, I have all these Nine Inch Nails releases in my collection, so obviously I'm a big fan, and I've been a, been a big fan uh, since high school, which is probably longer than what a lot of you guys watching this video have been alive. That was the mid 90s, so. Um, what did I think of this overall? I would give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, it's very underwhelming and, so, and and definitely below average, but it's not terrible. It's not like awfully, awfully terribly bad, but it definitely doesn't meet Trent's normal standards uh, for a release, in my opinion. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be a divisive review. Some of you will probably agree with it. Some of you will probably hate it. Whatever. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you like the album. If not, why? Why not? All that. As always, if you liked me, thumbs up. If you hate me, thumbs down. Share, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.